this low density anomaly perfectly overlaps the void that you guys call Aladdin's cave. In the captivating world of Oak Island, the endless search for hidden treasures continues in season 11, episode 5 of The Curse of Oak Island. The island is cloaked in mystery as viewers eagerly await the results of the muon tomography survey, a groundbreaking technology introduced at the close of season 9 in May 2022. This cutting-edge method promises to unveil the secrets buried deep beneath the island's surface, and the anticipation is at an all-time high. Muon tomography developed by Idean technology, involves placing detectors strategically in boreholes, much like giving a medical x-ray to the island. This complicated process is said to be able to expose every concealed void, secret tunnel, mysterious holes, and hidden chambers lurking beneath the terrain. It's a technology that has previously unraveled the mysteries of the Egyptian pyramids, and now, Muon tomography holds the key to unlocking Oak Island's long-guarded secrets. The excitement peaks as Oak Island fans learn that it will take a careful 7 to 8 months to amass the crucial data. The silence in between these episodes becomes an ominous echo, leaving eager minds in suspense. However, the veil of silence is finally shattered in season 11 as the war room reveals a game-changing moment. Muon tomography experts deliver a presentation that could alter the course of Oak Island's history, and the revelation is nothing short of groundbreaking. The Muon maestros disclose a high-density anomaly below the money pit, excitingly suggesting the existence of what could be the legendary Aladdin's cave. The mere idea of this treasure trove sends ripples of excitement through the Oak Island team. Yet, the exact location of this mysterious anomaly remains out of reach, depending on the confirmation of its proximity to the garden shaft. Helps for excavation this season might face obstacles due to prior claims made by the Dumar mining team, adding an element of unpredictability to the unfolding saga on Oak Island. The journey into Oak Island's mysteries takes an interesting turn with the promise of hidden treasures, and the challenges that lie ahead for the dedicated team. A mysterious scene unfolds as the drill team on Oak Island shifts gears, uncovering a puzzling space in a secret spot. Now, the Oak Island team faces a brand new mystery waiting to be solved after the revelations from the Muon scans. The unstoppable Gary Drayton dives into his artifact quest on March 5th, engaging in a dance with history. During his exploration, Drayton reveals yet another ancient relic, a small circular object with the letters CKR inscribed on it. Archaeologist Laird Niven takes a shot at guessing its age, adding another layer to the complex puzzle that Oak Island presents. This particular episode, named Muon Horizon by the History Channel, unravels after two years of eagerly awaiting the Muon tomography data. A special code suggests that the mysterious Aladdin's cave might hold more secrets than initially thought in the complex maze of Oak Island, where every discovery seems to bring more questions than answers. The quest for Aladdin's cave turns into a detective's journey, with each revelation peeling back a new layer of the mystery. The treasure hunters of Oak Island find themselves on the edge of a significant discovery, where the echoes of the past call them into the heart of the unknown. In the latest adventure of the Curse of Oak Island Season 11, our brave treasure hunters are on the trail of more mysteries than a Scooby-Doo marathon. Episode 5 takes us to the War Room where the anticipation is so thick you could almost cut it with a pirate's cutlass. Rick Lagina gathers the team for a strategic discussion. The focus is on Muon scans, a technology with the potential to revolutionize soil analysis. Marty Lagina, known for his flair for the dramatic, hints at the possibility that these scans might uncover more substantial findings than mere mundane objects. The team eagerly prepares for the next phase of their expedition on Oak Island. The Muon tomography team, composed of experts in subatomic particles, made a significant discovery beneath the island's surface. However, the specifics of their findings remain undisclosed in more straightforward terms. They've encountered an important revelation that could alter the course of their exploration. Craig Tester, displaying an optimistic outlook, humorously speculates about finding hidden spaces, or misplaced items like a remote control for the Oak Island TV. Rick, 
adopting a cautious approach, emphasizes the need for careful consideration in their actions. Given the uncertainty surrounding their discovery, the following day, the team prepares for work at the garden shaft. Equipped to manage water drainage effectively, Rick's contagious optimism infects the others, as if he has discovered a solution to overcome the challenges of treasure hunting fatigue. Marty, taking a pragmatic stance, ensures careful planning for the equipment and team. As the water level decreases, Marty begins to show more interest in the ongoing events. The team is motivated, confident that they are on the brink of making a historic discovery, erasing previous setbacks like a student correcting past mistakes on an exam. In the aftermath of the muon scans, all eyes are fixed on the money pit. Rick and Marty find themselves in contemplation, pondering the implications of the mysterious discovery they have encountered. Tech experts present their findings, potentially pointing towards tunnels, voids, or even the original money pit. Rick, fueled by an insatiable curiosity, expresses the desire to delve deeper into the revelation. Marty underscores the need for careful planning, approaching the situation with a level of caution comparable to handling explosive materials. I'm trying to figure out what was the you would drill right in the middle of the structure. Yeah? So we have a bunch of targets now. The team departs from the meeting with a renewed sense of purpose fueled by the potential unlocked by these anomalies. The prospect of rewriting history looms large, with each subsequent step perceived as increasingly important. In the ongoing saga, shifting the narrative to the team's next significant discovery, colloquially referred to as Aladdin's Cave, Drive. Fred Michel, a hydrogeologist, provides insights into gold indications and human activity. The team establishes a camp for an exhaustive examination, prepared to explore the potential for additional treasures. Lot 5 becomes the focal point, with a stone foundation providing glimpses into the island's rich history. Rick, Marty, and archaeologist Helen Sheldon conduct a thorough investigation, unearthing artifacts such as a chain link that hints at its role in treasure transportation. The application of advanced electromagnetic induction technology takes center stage, with testers collaborating to scan the northern end of Lot 5, revealing anomalies that imply buried artifacts and hidden structures. The excitement within the team reaches heights comparable to historical milestones with carbon dating results indicating wood from the early 1700s. The team engages in contemplation on the implications, engaging in discussions reminiscent of philosophical debates on the meaning of treasure. Rick, known for his flair for drama, proposes retracing the steps of the original money pit builders. Look, is this interesting? Yes. Does it provide pathways to learn more? Sure. Find out about that company. In the 1700s, six brave souls lost their lives in the pursuit of treasure on Oak Island, which had been divided into small parcels of land, ranging from three to four acres. Before this division, the land transfer records already referred to it as Oak Island. But in 1776, a British cartographer decided to rename it Gloucester Isle. For centuries, Oak Island has been synonymous with its name, as emphasized by Orthodoxy O'Connor, an author who delved into the island's treasure hunt. The legendary and incredibly costly treasure hunt began in 1795 when Daniel McGuinness and two friends came upon a mysterious depression on the island believing it to be a potential hiding place for pirate riches. Convincing his companions to join him, McGuinness initiated the excavation, revealing a series of oak logs, flagstones, and wooden platforms spaced ten feet apart. This marked the beginning of an enduring quest for treasure that has interested researchers and explorers for centuries. Now, let's explore some remarkable discoveries on Oak Island. Firstly, there are shocking accounts of shipwrecks. The marshy terrain on the island is speculated to be the potential resting place of a deliberately sunken vessel, concealing its existence. This theory has captured the imagination of many enthusiasts. The discovery of a charred ship's timber, displaying signs of significant strain, has deepened the mystery surrounding its concealment. If this theory holds true, 
It suggests that a ship laden with treasure navigated the swamp, unloaded its riches, and met its demise while departing. It is theorized that the ship intentionally destroyed itself, to erase any evidence of its presence. Adding credibility to this notion, a local blacksmith suggested that this event could have taken place during the 18th century. These interesting findings and theories continue to fuel the fascination and speculation surrounding Oak Island's elusive treasure. Let's talk about something bone-chilling and mysterious that happened on Oak Island. They found bone fragments at a hole and it's leaving everyone with a lot of questions. These bones come from different kinds of people making everyone wonder who used to live on Oak Island. Maybe it was a mix of different folks like settlers, workers, or even pirates. But there's another idea. Maybe these people didn't just die naturally. Some think they might have been victims of a crime, and someone hid their bones for a really long time. My immediate reaction is, it's bone. Holy smoke. To figure out more about these bones and who these people were, they might need to do more tests and investigations. Now, let's talk about another cool thing found on Oak Island, ancient papers. They found a special piece of paper buried really deep, about 153 feet down, below something that looks like cement. Here's the strange part. Someone put this paper there on purpose and made sure it stayed hidden. Why would they go through all that trouble? One idea is that this paper could be part of a bunch of lost papers that people think were written by William Shakespeare. The theory says that a person named Francis Bacon, who lived during the Renaissance, might have hidden these papers on Oak Island. Some people even believe Bacon is the real writer behind Shakespeare's plays. The theory goes that Bacon chose Oak Island to keep these papers safe from others who might want to see them. Let's not forget about Nolan's cross on Oak Island. It's a big deal in the island's story. Let's talk about something really cool on Oak Island. Five big rocks set up like a cross, and the sixth rock has a face and a sword on it. People are buzzing with ideas about the Knights Templar being involved in Oak Island's mystery. The Knights Templar were a group of knights from a long time ago, known for stories about the Holy Grail, and other mystical stuff. On Oak Island, Fred Nolan found this cross in the late 1970s. After spending years mapping the island, people think maybe the Knights Templar visited and hid their treasure there. And get this, there's a coin with a Templar cross found near the money pit making the connection even stronger. People believe the Knights Templar had tons of wealth back in the day, kept safe in super-protected castles and places all over Europe. Now let's talk about another cool thing found on Oak Island, tools for working with metal. Finding these tools makes us wonder who used them, and what they were mining for on Oak Island. Maybe they were looking for precious metals or something even more valuable, like Captain Kidd's lost treasure. And now, for the sixth big find on Oak Island, a fancy keyhole with a pretty flower design. People are saying it might be from a chest owned by Captain James Anderson, a legendary figure linked to the island's hidden treasure. Legend has it that Anderson lost three treasure chests around Oak Island, and some folks believe that one of them is still hiding on the island. 